boys and girls. I'm going to teach you about a new artist of the month. His name is Pablo Picasso. He was born in Malaga, Spain in 1881, and he died many, many years later in his 90s at 1973. And he is one of the most famous artists of all time. And he's very well known for a type of style of art known as cubism. So you can look at this particular um, print of this painting where the lady's eyes are forward, her nose is sideways, you can see her ear, all at the same time. You're seeing all these different directions. This is a picture of him, and if you watch the video, you saw that um, this is what he looked like. He's in his studio here. Those are not his hands. And I was hoping to teach you to do a really fun um, project that is taken from his bouquet of peas, which was a watercolor that he did in 1950, I think 1958. And he did it to commemorate um, all of the peace marches that were going on in Sweden. So it's a bouquet being passed to somebody else, which I think is perfect for spring. And I think you're gonna like it because we get to use our hands too. So all you need <clears throat> are kindergarten crayons, and a piece of white paper. So let me move my um, camera a little bit and I'm gonna get my black crayon and I'm gonna start with my left hand because I'm a righty and I'm gonna trace around. Now you may need somebody to help you with this part. Use a pretty good strong hand, trace around your fingers, each finger, don't leave any out down and I'm going to go ahead and just continue that on and his original had fingernails and you can just do little rectangle nails on there or circles if that's easier for you and then I'm going to use my same hand again I'm going to come over here this is the hand that's getting the bouquet I'm going to go around my thumb and like I said if you need to have somebody help you but I'm using my left hand to trace around because my right hand is the one that I'm strongest at. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my fingernails. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and sign my name down here towards the bottom, not too big. I'm just gonna write Castellic. He wrote his name, Picasso. That was his signature. This is my signature, you do yours. Now, when you're done with your signature, writing your name, put your crayon away. And um, the first color I think we need is yellow. Now come up towards the top of your paper and not all the way, down a little ways, but you're gonna do a nice size oval and I want you to color it in nice and bright because yellow's light anyway. Color that make it nice and bright. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm going to take a red crayon and I'm going to do ovals, little oval petals going all the way around and I'm going to color each one in. And you can do the same thing. I'm kind of in a hurry because I don't want you to have to wait for me too long, but you can always color yours in later if you need more time. So there's my petals there red petals and then I'm going to do a red center. So I'm going to come over here and the original um, painting had four flowers and we're copying what his had. Four large flowers. Okay. Okay, so I've got my red and then I'm going to go ahead and use a blue. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to do oval petals going all the way around. So there's a little space between each one. That's what his had. They weren't touching. Little ovals going around. And I'm going to use my blue again. And I'm going to use this to make a blue center. So I'll make a blue center here. And I'll color that one in. Nice and blue, nice and bright. Okay. And then I think I'm going to use some purple because that's how he did it. But if you want to be creative, you can use other colors. I'm just doing it like his piece bouquet. You may want to do a second one where you do different colored flowers. So, one, two, three. So I have to do one more. I'm going to do an orange center. 
Now the next one is going to be, I think I'll put it right here. I'm going to color that one in nice and orange. Okay. And I'm going to use my red one more time. I'm going to do petals, ovals, just the same as I did the other ones. Now I'm going to look at which flower was the closest to my hand, and I think it's this orange one. You're going to get a green because we're going to do stems. And this is where you have to really pay attention. See where the hand is? We're not going to draw on top of the hand. We're going to pretend like the stems are inside. And if we draw, if we stop, like I'm going to start right here, I'm going to draw and stop when I get to the hand and jump over, ribbit, and do some stems down there. And then I'm going to come up to this blue one and I'm going to go down, stop, come over this side. I frog jumped over and come down, come up here. I'm going to stop anytime I get to any other thing. Stop right there. Ribbit. Frog jump down here. And then I'm going to come over to the red and I'm going to draw my green. I'm going to stop every time I get to a flower petal or another flower. Okay. Now I'm going to also do some grasses. So a bouquet often has other things in it. So I'm going to go stop. Frog jump. Go up. And do a tall one. I'm gonna go up, frog jump. I'm still stopping in between. And up, frog jump. And maybe one more grass. Stop. Okay. And I like the way that looks. So here we have the bouquet of peace copied from Picasso's famous poster. I hope you had fun. And you can do another one if you'd like with different colored flowers or having the hands in other directions. I hope you had fun. Goodbye.